Uh, we back once a motherfucking again. Just read some of your comments on uh, uh, the part uh, part one and saying you know about it's the same shit. The guy is like, come on, man. Uh, you're not the only one uh, learning here. Or you know, just I'm just trying to help other people that are low elo still. I see people, you know, you know, they write me messages all the time. Yo, I went from 1100 to 1600 elo, 1500 elo, 1700 elo. You know, and they're happy for you know for these videos. And and there are still other people that have problems playing uh, in low elo and you know not understanding the game. Uh, you know, they just want to understand the game and raise their elo. And you know, that's for them. You know, it's a Maybe reminder. I, I can't. You know, I'm not gonna every. I don't know, man. It's just like I said, man. Every game is different. You never know what's gonna happen. Now, uh, you, you run your mouth, uh, uh, saying you know it's the same shit. No, well, I mean, what, what am I supposed to post to how the game is? I try to uh, tell you exactly what I'm thinking in the game, uh, so you can do the same shit every game. And that last game I posted, yes, I was farming. Now, most people wouldn't even been farming that mid. They wouldn't have had no 180 fucking CS. I had 180 CS. If you look, I had I think I had the most CS in the game. That's what you do in 1300 fucking ELO. You fucking out farm everybody as the motherfucking jungler. And when it comes time for you to fucking carry, you'll be able to carry. That's the only way to fucking carry a motherfucking game at that ELO. At that fucking ELO. It's the farm whatever the fuck you can. It's not about, if you can farm champs, like I said, every game is different. We're just going to write that every motherfucking game is different. It's fucking different. Uh, you'll get one game, you'll just fucking get 10 kills and just slap every motherfucker in the game. But it's not going to be like that every fucking time. And you guys got to understand that. That game, how that game turned out, like I said, I played five fucking games. And out of the five games, that's how that game went. And I explained it how it is. I, I took every fucking one of their fucking blues. And if you did not see a fucking blue buff the whole fucking game. Wukong saw his first buff. I slapped the motherfucker out of this net league for disrespecting my shit. Sitting at my motherfucking turret. You know, I got I own two turrets when I'm laying. That's that's how I roll in this fucking game. Now 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 this game is um I'm sorry, you know, I had to explain shit. You know, I read these comments and some of the comments just pissed me off. It makes me rage. Just like, you know, same shit. It is it really. I mean you act like I don't fucking know that. I make a lot of a lot of videos and you know I kind of you know say the same shit uh, but you know it's just to help you guys uh, not everybody gets what I'm talking about you know low elo and I hope they do and I hope they raise your elos uh, I'm level 6 in this bitch I'm playing top lane you dare go back buy my motherfucking wriggles you know getting the wriggles in low elo uh, 1300 elo playing top lane you dare tiger is to slap bitches and to sustain the lane uh, as hard as possible uh, whenever blues up whenever reds up you know if I if I want to take it I'll take it uh <sighs> just woke up it's snowflake and yes I know uh but yeah man I just <laughs> so here I'm Nidalee is going AP she's going a fucking P versus uh tiger either so I don't have to worry about her auto attacks uh, I got a wriggles I can ignore her. When she gets in the fucking cat, tiger, cougar shit form, I don't give a fuck what kind of form it is. I'll just slap the fuck out of that bitch. She's gonna be turd hugging like a noob, so it's gonna be hard for me to dominate this bitch. As you can see, she runs back to her goddamn turret. But yeah, I mean, okay. Now let's get back to the, you know, the low elo. This is low fucking elo. Um. Uh, dropping that ward down, uh, you still got a ward. You know, when you dominate a lane uh, in low elo, if you got ward, put them down. They will camp you, but I'm not really worried about it. You know, I'd probably easily escape. I got armor for uh, for Riven when she comes. Uh, I just don't have no MR. I'm not really worried about that. I'll use my turtle. I just gain all my HP back. Now, now the carry to carry this elo, what you need to worry about is. Uh, it's the farm, you know. You gotta make sure you're able to farm easy. Uh, that's one thing you need to do. Uh, farming should be the key. You, there'll be a time when the opportunity when you you know you can kill her. Like uh, if you're playing top lane new there, you know. I, I saw the opportunity earlier and I killed. I flashed tiger into. Uh, well, I did not actually. What I did was uh, I kept it in bear stance. I didn't try to bear into her since there's a one second cooldown. I went trying to go to another stance. So what I did was I left it in bear when I had a chance. Well, I could be wrong, you know. I thought I did. So we'll just say uh, I just flashed Tiger the bitch, ignited her. But uh, this game, th she, she can't do shit. You see how much damage I'm doing to her? Now, if when I want my mana back, the more damage you do, uh, the more levels you get on your W, the more uh, mana you get back. You won't have any mana problems. You should, ha should have no mana problems at all. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Um, 
So yeah, getting back to lane. I, I don't care what my other lanes are doing. Uh, we are winning the game right now. Uh, let's see. Let's just take a look. Graves, um, 69 CS to 41. But it doesn't. I'm not worried about that. Uh, when your t team starts to lose and you're playing top lane, and if you're dominating, okay, it's 40. It's 91 CS to 44. Uh, two to one. I'm winning in CS. I got a kill. I got wriggles. I buy swiftness. The reason I buy swiftness is Nidalee. Nidalee's stupid fucking passive and her uh, her, her cougar shit form uh, being able to fucking get that leap on me. It's what fucking pisses me off. Uh, you know, I fucking hate it. Uh, but yeah, okay. I, I dropped the ward in this bush. Um, swiftness is the counter. Uh, and get away from people. Uh, they don't have a lot of hard CC. As you can see, they got Yi, uh, Anid, Oriana. And uh, and and Riven, and I'm not worried about it now. Now, when Nidalee tries to go back into lane, this is what happens. She's not going back to lane, baby. So right now, Riven looks at you. See, Riven gonna help. Uh, I guess Nidalee th thinks she she's baiting. So here, you know, just keep it in turtle. As you see what I'm doing, uh, I'm not putting any damage on the turret. I'm letting the minions do the damage. And I'm beating the shit out of bitches. And I'm farming in between turrets. No motherfucking problem. Yi is dead, so I don't have to worry about Yi. Uh, bot lane, uh, mid lane, jungle does not exist to me. I'm here to dominate this lane. If my bot lane my my, uh, and mid were failing, this right here, this is what... Uh, uh, mid, jungle, and all them bitches gotta worry about me farming in between the motherfucking turrets. Slapping bitches. This right here is straight up disrespecting the other team. I'm just farming this bitch. Now, I don't want to take this turret. I don't want to take turret. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my minions roll the fu- Or their minions roll up. This bitch. So I don't back here. But yeah, if you if you are dominating a lane this fucking hard, when your team sees this shit and you're a monster, it it, it boosts them. They they try hard, and that's what you want to do. Uh, you just let these bitches know. Uh, I mean, uh, it's like when I was a champ select, like, someone called top. I was like, nah, bro, I'm going top. I told them I'm going top. Dude, they, you know what they said? They said this motherfucker uh better be good. And you know, no, what they're seeing is something special. It's a motherfucking beast top lane. Then we got Nidalee. This bitch disrespect me. This is what happens. And all I have is boots, boots of swiftness, and and what do you call it? And wriggles. And I'm just slapping the shit out of this bitch. I don't have to go anywhere. A lot of times I play these games. It's so easy. Uh, I wanted blue here, so you know I wait for the bitch. Uh, doesn't come, but you know. I'm over here get this free wolf. <sighs> no, whenever blue comes up, I'll definitely be able to get that bitch. It comes up, I don't have to worry about it. Ribbon's nowhere to be found. Oh, shit. Uh, Ribbon finally comes. Nearly comes over and gets slapped the fuck back into her turret. Um, I just come here and see us. Rampage. Now, now, let's watch this. Uh, Ribbon comes in, gang. I don't know if she's fucking stupid. See, well, when you're level 8 and I'm level 12, you might want to fucking recognize uh, who, who, who the fuck the boss is here. Later, nerd. So, when you dominate lane, even if bot lane, their bot lane was fucking 6, 7, and 0, this turd be gone right here, and that motherfucker, as soon as he comes in a fight, I'll just two shot that motherfucker. They would need the four, at least two, three, four. They probably have to four man me to stop me, especially when I go back and buy. Now it's 16 minutes in. Now, now ask yourselves. Uh, pause the motherfucking video. Write in the comments. What the fuck would you do at this point in the game? I see you here. I'm just gonna hit a NASCAR lap and, and la lap through their spawn real quick, just to check out and see what's going on. And you know, being a boss that I am, I just run through the turrets because I don't give a fuck. Uh, come around the side. Uh, I see my red buffs up. Come get my red. Fuck knock, uh, knock don't need this. Go back now. Now this is, you're about to see his next level. Uh, you see the items I bought, Blade of the Rune King. Uh, let's slow this down. My bad. Uh, put put it back on me now. Uh, when you when you get to my level of gameplay and you understand the game, uh, you just come over to Baron and you slap the motherfuck out of uh, Kogma's Papa and shit. Kogma's Papa over here, big as fuck. But well, you know I don't give a fuck. As you can see, uh, I think Baron's giving me HP, so I don't have to worry about taking damage. Uh, 
Baron spits on me. Get, I think I heal for like 200 every time he spits on me. GG. So when you talk about next level, next level shit, top lane. Oh, when you when you feel like you can solo Baron, that's when you reach my motherfucking level. 1300 ELO. Uh, this is what you should do. Any player that's on my level. Uh, and when you get to my level, this is this is how you do it. This is how you play the motherfucking game, baby. You just solo motherfucking Barons. Uh. I mean, I, that, that just that just goes to show uh, why I'm the best player in the motherfucking game. Slapping bitches all motherfucking day. But yeah, getting back to the points of this game. Do you guys see what I did here? Um, I got so strong uh, that that when Revan came, I fucking I fought both of them, uh, no problem. Uh, that's how you. That's where you need it. Learn to get uh, when you hesitate and you don't understand the damage. You're like, oh shit, it's Revan. Let's run. Me, I, I understood. You know, uh, uh, what what the main thing what you need to do is Nid was low every time that she tried to either bait or uh or whatever she tried to do is bait. Uh, so I would just kill her first. Now that I would have Ribbon, and I would always be higher level than Ribbon, so I didn't really have to worry about Ribbon. And here <coughs> I can just keep focusing on uh, pushing the lane. <coughs> Now they're <coughs> trying to make something happen. Jesus Christ, man! I'm, what the fuck's wrong with me? I'm sitting here. I just woke up, guys. So got my hot cocoa, so I can send my snow one outside. And we're enjoying this video, and as you can see, I'm already on the inhib. I'm already on the motherfucking inhib. So yeah, I mean, uh, if you guys got any questions, <coughs> leave them in the uh, description bar. I remade this video. I'm pr pretty sure my other one, my other my other video was done for this uh, game. But you know, I had to redo it just to answer some of your questions. Uh, just remember, man, every game is different. Uh, you never know who you're going against, uh, who you're playing. But in low elo, uh, you gotta you gotta think everyone's bad. No, there's no one in there. this game. I mean, there's no one good. Uh, that's how you gotta see this shit. If I had mercs, that bitch would be dead. So this bitch gets away. Uh, splash, runs. I'm looking for the bitch. Runs my turret, dies. Dance on the motherfucker's face. G motherfucking. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, prepare for the most epic fucking volleyball of all time. Uh, slap a bitch, uppercuts, overhand rights, left hooks, uh, jabs. Uh, you're about to see it all black guys. Come get my rip up. GG.